write a python program to solve a classic ancient chinese puzzle we count 35 heads and 94 legs among the chickens and rabbits in a farm how many rabbits and how many chickens do we have so they have given a sample input and expected output if they say heads are 150 and legs are 400 we should be able to find um, 100 uh, rabbits and 50 chickens now it's um, 100 uh, chickens and 50 rabbits if they say there are uh, three heads and um, legs are uh, 11 so it is not possible to have uh, such come three heads if say uh, three uh, if we assume all the three are chicken then three into two only six legs should be there if you assume all the um, three are rabbits so three into four there should be 12 legs so it is we will get uh, no solution for this uh, problem for this uh, value then if heads are 3 and legs are 12 we can easily say 3 into 4 12 so 3 rabbits if heads are 5 and legs are 10 again 5 into 2 5 chickens let's take a look at the available code so the solve is the method to, to which they pass 38 uh, heads and 131 legs right and then it it moves here let's look at, look at the complete uh, code so all the heads and legs so we have heads and legs count and we'll have to populate look at this we'll have to populate chicken count and rabbit count and we should also use below print statements to display the output and we should not modify them remember mm -hmm. right so let's see uh, what before we start there is a, a, a easy method uh, to understand this problem statement and of course solve so we know that um, rabbits and chickens together we let us have heads count so that's we take this equation number one then uh, every rabbit has four legs and uh, chicken has two legs so we take uh, 4r plus 2z is equal to 2 now we need to multiply you know, the equation one by minus two post multiplication that's what we get equation one so multiplied by minus two minus two r minus 2c is equal to minus 2 heads so we add these two equations so minus 2c plus 2c goes away so 4r minus 2r it comes to 2r so 2r is equal to legs minus 2 into heads so it, it should be this way it should actually be this way yes so this is what we get 2r is equal to legs minus 2 into x so we know finally r comes this r is equal to legs minus 2 into h the whole divided by 2 let's substitute the values we have values for legs and heads so let's assume heads are 150 and legs are 400 right this is expected output 150 so it works this way r is equal to 400 minus 2 into 150 2 into heads so 400 minus 300 we get 100 100 divided by 2 so or rabbits number of rabbits we are able to find number of rabbits as 50 with this we should also be able to find out number of chickens so it's very simple so c is chicken is equal to chicken count is equal to heads minus rabbit hound count so what happens heads total number of heads are 150 now uh, the, the rabbits are 50 150 minus 50 so we get 100 so this is expected output 100 is number of chickens and 50 are number of rabbits so they have clearly given populate the variables chicken count and rabbit count and they also said do not modify this print statements so we have used all that we simply copied and used it here if legs model is to not equal to zero or heads equal to equal to zero or number of heads is greater than legs right which typically talks about this no solution category right so when we talk about this all we have is a error message so we have to tell them uh, there is no solution available for this otherwise right then we can simply say we'll apply the first formula which we talked about before r is equal to legs minus two into h then finally chicken count is equal to h minus number of rabbits so simple so rabbit is equal rabbit count is equal to legs minus two into h divided by two and we should get a integer so that's why we are converting as a int otherwise we'll get a value in decimal so again chicken count heads minus rabbit count we get chicken counts finally convert as an integer so we print chicken count and rabbit count this way 
So we simply have uh, copied this print statement and pasted it there. So if we verify this, so you will get uh, all the test cases passed 9 out of 9, 1 out of 1, 8 out of 8 logical test cases. You may try with different values as well. So here if you try the first example what we saw was 400, I think it's a head says 150 and the legs were 400. So we should get 150. So we get the exact result. One fifty heads and four hundred legs. We should get hundred and hundred and fifty. That's what we get.